Hello everybody, my name is Steven and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we are going to be creating this text effect. It uh, looks like milk is, the word milk is pouring out milk. I don't remember the website that I found this from so I can't properly give this guy credit for his idea. I was waiting for the bus one day and I just took the screenshot as a reminder to teach you guys. So let's just go ahead and launch right into it. What I'm going to start off with is a black color and the font Arial Black, but you can change it to anything you want. I just like this because it's bold. So I'm going to write milk. Let's click here and then Command A and select everything and then click this box right here which is the character properties. And we're going to bring those characters inwards a bit like that. And then let's select these three and bring these inwards as well. Something like that. Uh, maybe we can space this out. Let's type in 40 maybe. And then bring it down. Okay, 60. Alright, so you can just mess with that until you get the look that you want. I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to drag to the side here. And let's give this a quick background. So double click on the background layer to unlock it. Click OK. Double click it again. I sped through this because I end up changing the background again later, so this is pretty much pointless. So select this font right here, and let's make the color of it white. Uh, okay, we're going to double click that text layer, and we're going to give it a drop shadow. And this is what's going to give it the 3D look. And I'm going to change this to normal. I'm going to change the color to a dark gray, something like this. Change the distance. Uh, let's bring that up. Make the spread 100 so it has a hard edge rather than soft. And bring the size down. Now we want to change this positioning to 0. Or we'd probably go with 1. Let's bring the size in. As you can see, when I bring the size in, it gives it the 3D look that we're after. And make this a little bit bigger. Something like that. I'm going with 12. Alright, so when you have that, you can click on OK. And let's make this font a little bit bigger. I'm just going to do that by Command T. And then scale it out. And what I want to do is work on the shadowing here. And I think that the drop shadow is a little bit too dark, so I'm going to lighten it up. Something like that. Just so it's slightly lighter than the background. And then let's create a new layer. Grab your paintbrush and a black font or a black color. Zoom in. <coughs> And let's just add some shadowing, something like this, wherever you think it's needed. Okay, and you can't really see what's going on there. But what I want to do is duplicate this milk layer, right click it, convert it to smart object. And now the reason I did this is because if I hold down command and I make a selection of this, all it's going to do is select the actual font. And I wanted to select this, uh, the drop shadow as well. So what I did was when I convert it to a smart object, it sees it as one whole object. See that? So now I can go to select, inverse, and delete everything outside of that shadow. And then I can select this, just the milk layer, and delete. And as you can see, it leaves me looking nice. So I want to erase part of this over here. Let's lower that opacity so it's not so dark. Alright, so that's the letter M. I'm going to create a new layer. And let's do this. Let's do the letter K. And throw the L and the K together. So the K, just something quick. Don't want to waste too much of your time. You can work on the correct shadowing and all that on your own. I just want to give you the basic idea. So again, I'm going to select the whole thing. Go to select, inverse, and delete. I'm going to select just the text layer and delete. And then I'm going to bring down the opacity. And this eye is a little bit dark as well, so I'm going to bring that up. And I don't want it touching anything else except for the eye. So I'm going to grab my marquee tool and just manually delete that right side. And then again, select, delete, and then I need to click the delete. 
Okay. So now I have a slight shadow right there. Looking good. Let me zoom out. And that's pretty much it. Let's lighten this up a bit. And this one as well, just so it's not so extremely dark. And I think I want to add a slight stroke around the bill. Let's just give that a try and see what that looks like. I'm going to select this uh, stroke, one pixel. I'm going to make it white. So I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to lower the opacity on this eye shadow that just caught my eye. Uh, let's delete this layer right here. We don't need that. Select all of this. And then Control T and rotate. Hold down Shift and rotate so it's a perfect 15 degrees as you can see up there. Click OK. And it looks like we might have to modify this shadow slightly. So let's zoom in. Double click here. Go to the drop shadow. Let's change the angle to 15 degrees. Okay. So now we're going to create the front uh, pouring faucet, spout, nose, whatever you want to call it, of this milk. Let's first do a couple of things. I want to make this background a little bit darker. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I want to make the milk font uh, slightly gray rather than um, solid white. And you'll see why in a minute. So let's just make that a little bit darker. And then let's just change the angle so it comes from the top right. And maybe bring this down slightly. Something like that. And like that. So now let's go to this milk font text layer. And let's change this to a light gray. Uh, something like that. Alright. So now that we have that, we can create a layer above everything. And zoom in. Okay, so now we're going to be creating this, the lip of this, the top of the milk jug. And what that looks like is this right here, this part right there. So to begin, I'm going to grab the Polygon Lasso tool and create a new layer above everything. And starting from this corner here, I'm going to come out a little bit at a slight angle. Hold down Shift and draw, draw out a lip like that. Come down here at a slight angle and do the same and this doesn't have to be too perfect on the bottom edge because that's just going to end up getting uh, covered by that pouring spout faucet thing so once you fill that in with a color select the smoke layer and then click delete so then it deletes all the overhanging stuff so now we want to do some shadowing for that so above everything I'm going to create a new layer then click from this straight corner here to the straight corner here. Click, 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 click around and close that off. Grab a black paintbrush and just paint something like that. Select this, selection inverse, and deselect. I'm going to lower down that opacity quite a bit and then erase some portions of this. Okay, so now. I want to move this up slightly and hi I want to hide this corner of the milk font. So I'm going to double click this milk and check this layer mask hides effect and what that's going to allow me to do is hide that back uh, the background drop shadow for this text. So if you're not sure what that is you can check out one of our tutorials. I will try and remember to an annotate it right here. So just draw a layer mask then I'm going to click this corner here and fill that with black. Come over to the shadow and find what shadow that is, the M. Add a layer mask there and do the same. Fill that with black. Okay, so now that's completely hidden. So now we need to create the pouring spot. And this is a little bit confusing and quite tricky, so I recommend Googling what a milk jug looks like because <laughs> this took me quite a while to figure out and I'm not even sure if I have it perfect still. So what I want to do is start at almost halfway up right about here and I'm going to click come out a little bit on a slight angle and then come straight back to this corner and then 
straight up to the bottom edge of this lip here and then close that off. Then I'm going to fill that with white. Then below that I'm going to create a new layer starting right at this corner. Coming down to almost straight with this. Coming back to here and then closing that off, filling that with white. Alright, so that's pretty much all that we need for this front lip area. Now we just need to do the shading for that. So I'm going to create a new layer above everything and do a little bit of shading over here. Some on this top edge as well. Maybe some over here. Select that layer, selection, inverse, and delete. Bring that opacity way, way down. And let's erase some. Uh, something like that, I guess. That works fine. Alright, so I'm going to lower down this opacity of this top shadow. And then I'm going to, underneath this bottom layer right here, I'm going to create a new layer and do the shadows for that. So again, black paintbrush. Just going to paint that in. Select that, selection, inverse, and delete. Bring down that opacity quite a bit. And now I want to smooth off this hard edge right here. So above everything, I'm going to grab a white paintbrush and just hand paint in something, a straightish line like that. Select this, hold down the command and shift and select the next one. Selection, inverse, and delete. And then just lower that opacity. And let's lower this opacity. And this one. Okay, that's good enough. So now we need to add that pouring milk effect. And I'm just going to grab a stock image. Okay, here it is. It's quite big. So I'm going to drag and drop it right into here. Bring it all the way to the bottom. What we should probably do is select all these layers here and group that just to keep it clean. And then select this, the milk layer, and I'm just going to scale it way, way down. I'm not going to do anything too fancy with this, just so you can get an idea of what can be done. I'm just going to scale it down to um, let's keep it like that. Zoom in, and I want to delete this white background. All that I'm doing here is making a quick selection with the pen tool, and I'm not even going to worry about the shadow at the bottom of the cup because we are going to remake that. Alright, so then go over to Path, hold down Command, make that selection, and go to Selection, Inverse, and just Delete. Well, you can save it if you want. I'm going to delete it. So now we don't have a shadow, so I want to create my own. So below that, I'm going to grab my ellipse mar Elliptical Marquee Tool and draw out a quick disk, something like this, and fill it with black. Then go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and maybe 1.8. That looks good. And then grab your eraser tool and let's just erase this end of it so it kind of fades out. And then lower the opacity. Once again, I'm going to mess with this background. I'm sorry. I'm going to make it slightly darker. Something like that. And then let's grab this and make this one lighter. Alright. Looks good. And then a Above the background layer, I'm just going to draw out, draw out just a quick arch with the pen tool, something like this, just to give it a background. Go to paths, make that selection, and then fill it with white. Then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, like that. To lower that opacity, and see what that did? That just softened this back edge right there. So one last step is going to be adding a shadow on top of the milk. So below this uh, milk, this whole milk area, pouring spout thingy, whatever you decide to name it, I'm going to grab a black paintbrush and I'm just going to draw a quick shadow. And then go to that milk layer, selection, inverse, and delete. And then lower that opacity. That's going to conclude this tutorial. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.